it's that, you know, soft and airy. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hello, welcome to Unspoken Words, where we're all about making the natural hair community an actual community and helping you to love yourself. So today we're going to be doing another challenge. So if you haven't already watched my previous uh, video, which is basically where I go through, I go for a month and I do the rice water um, on my hair for a month and I, I just I kind of discussed the whole detail so I believe I'll put that in the link there and then in, also in the um, description box down below um, so if you haven't already watched that I'll put it up there for you guys to watch but today or for this video we are going to be doing palm oil hey lovelies um, so I, this is just a quick update of the palm oil um, challenge should I say that I've been doing um, so excuse the lighting it is early in the morning um, and it's still quite dark outside so yeah and I'm not about to now start putting on the the um, what do you call it that light thing the light box um, and setting up to do this quick um, update so we're just gonna have to deal with it like this okay guys our apologies just kind of have mercy on me and look, look over it look past the, the, the quality um, so basically what I've noticed about this palm oil so far is that once it has finished um, absorbing into my hair, so like right now, if I put my hand in my uh, in my hair, there's, you know when you want to test if a product is still in your hair or if your hair is still moisturised and still has oil in it, and you put your hand in your hair and on maybe rub it slightly on your scalp and then you have that slight sheen um, on your fingertips, that's basically what the palm oil is right now, that's how I know that it, you know the majority of it has absorbed because I put quite a lot of it in, um, so that's how I know that the majority of it is absorbed and it's, um, yeah, I can I can sleep without the, the um, bagging method, without bagging my hair for the night. So yes, the point. So um, now that it's in this particular stage, I've noticed that my hair has is is quite itchy now, um, and it is also quite sore in certain areas. So like the my, where my parting is here, um, around here, like inside here, and somewhere in here as well. That's those those places are quite sore um all of a sudden and i don't know if it's just because i don't really know what it is because in i would have said maybe it's because i you know itch my hair a lot but it itch my scalp but i haven't been doing that so i'm not entirely sure why it's being so sore it might just be because it's exposed this part is obviously this part is exposed so that could be um why that place is quite sore but for the places that are well, I think it's basically the places that aren't, doesn't have this, the flat twist in, so, like, it's on top and just on the bottom, so the places that are, I think, more exposed to the elements, that's where it's more so. Um, but bearing in mind, it is autumn time, so it's quite, it's getting quite cold now, um, so that could also be a, in a factor, playing a factor in, in the fact that it's sore. Um, and as, as, as opposed to the itchiness, that could also be because of the dairy product that I am um, consuming because when I did the rice water, I wasn't consuming as much dairy products and I was fine and also of course the lemon helped but now uh, I think I've increased in the dairy products that I do consume and um, that has affected it. Now I say this because near the beginning it's not been long since i started this uh, palm oil challenge though but near the beginning um i wasn't i didn't really i don't think i really touched dairy products um per se all that much but then um closer to the time that i'm making this video now i i've been eating dairy products here and there and i think that's what has kind of affected the fact that my scalp is itchy so i do think um to some extent dairy does have an effect um, on the itchiness of my scalp um, but yeah I think that's those are the main two things and then the last thing as well before I forget is that um, the palm oil is amazing in terms of like I've already talked about the softness but it 
makes my hair feel look and does makes it keeps it clean basically um now that could also be as a result of the fact that all i'm putting on my hair is water um and palm oil nothing else no leave-in conditioner no um shea butter no cream nothing like that so that could be um part of the reason but in terms of my scalp because all i put on my scalp anyway is oil so in terms of my scalp it's definitely looks and feels and yeah just looks overall clean um cleaner than what i usually do if i was to put another type of oil in my hair so i'm pretty um impressed by that um that fact of the palm oil um but yes i am going to now go and put more palm oil on my scalp because um of the kind of soreness and itchiness and see if that alleviates it and just you know spray my, my scalp with warm water which i have in the spray bottle ready and then put the palm oil and then we'll see if that makes anything better um, and I'll just come back to you guys and let you know if that did anything if it made it worse um, but yeah oh before I even go actually there's one more thing I forgot um, in terms of working out um, so I do a lot of home workouts I mean in this pandemic I don't I mean I don't even go to the gym period anyway but yeah but in terms of working out I've not nothing has happened in terms of you know the oil dripping down onto my face or transferring onto um my mat or whatever it is that i am um, resting on when i'm when i'm working out so which is a good it's a, it's a plus for me um but i did the workout when the majority of the palm oil is already absorbed into my hair anyway so i didn't have to worry about that when i know that i'm just about to put the palm oil on and um, to let it absorb that in that day or so i know that i'm not going to do any any form of working out because i want I, I want to allow the oil to soak in and to avoid little bits of the palm oil kind of dripping into my eyes and um, onto my my face and causing a breakout so yeah that is that is basically that um but yes guys i've really been enjoying using gets and i've not really had to touch my hair a lot with this challenge and the rice water challenge i'm i've had to force myself to not touch my hair and to be in my hair and yeah i think i've realized that i am um, before i did these two challenges that i used to have my hand in my hair a lot or um you know always constantly wanting to retouch my hand do my hair and things like that but now i'm kind of forced to have to keep my hands out of my hair just let my hair be so that the products that i have in my hair can work and then my hair is also not being stressed and pulled um every so often My hair feels so soft. That's where it's at right now. That's where it is. That's the kind of the gap it has. Um, it's definitely longer. Okay, so. Sixteen centimeters. That it's so there. That's where it is, guys. Oh my days! There, right there. So that is. This is five, six, seven. So that's two inches. I, mean, I think. This is seven inches on my right side. Okay. Ooh, that one's that is five, six, seven. So that's also seven inches on my left side. So again, seven inches. 
these um, I find is gonna be quite quick I think I noticed the first time that I did this um, so applied the palm oil that it was it was very like it made my scalp and hair feel clean um, and it felt clean for a while but then when I overdid um, the amount of palm oil that I that I put on my hair when it began to to build up because I put too much on um, at the time that's when I started to, started to um, that's when I started to experience itching again um, but you can tell by the by the length check that you know it's definitely added more inches to my hair you know my hair's grown more than it would usually grow in a month so that that's good i quite enjoyed that after a couple of about should i say two to three to four days that's when the palm hole i'd quite the majority of it had absorbed i you could barely see any more stains um, and then on the like fifth sixth day you couldn't see any stains at all um so you know i could lie on a white and then white wall if i wanted to and i would be fine um so yeah i think also if you if you're just putting a scarf on and no no you're not using the bagging method that scarf is going to absorb a lot of that palm oil and it's going to leak onto your pillow um it's not going to be a good enough barrier to hold your pillow and um, hold the oil and stop it from leaking to your pillow um i did find because all i did was add water and an essential oil and then the, the palm oil um i did find that my mini twist did unravel as i continued with the weeks um but i kept it in the flat twist once i had done all of that or once i had you know whenever i wanted to refresh it i would remove the flat twist um keep it in the mini twist refresh it add the water add the palm oil and then the flat twist up again and just kind of pack it up so that it's not rubbing against my the back of my top it left my hair extremely soft to the point where it was breaking <laughs> it was it was so soft that it was it, it was over soft and it was breaking like it was like almost like i was like when you over add water um to your hair um, and maybe that's part of it as well the fact that you know i was always adding water with the palm oil to ensure that the, palm, the, the oil actually soaked into my hair um so that could be part of the reason why i experienced the whole hydro fatigue and um i was experiencing that that um breakage basically that limp feeling of hair so what i did was to switch up a little bit i think halfway through the uh, my my month journey um and use black tea as the water instead just kind of strengthened my hair um and it definitely did work it definitely did strengthen my hair and that helped tremendously i think that's also what helped to retain quite a lot of that length as well because obviously um black tea is a d t h i think that's i said that in the right order the d t h um blocker or d h t blocker one of the, what however i put it on the screen um so so yeah that that's that's what happened um in terms of the smell if you don't overdo it with the palm oil with oil on your hair then you shouldn't really smell anything especially if you're adding essential oils or um, leave a conditioner to to your routine then it kind of masks the oil smell i didn't retwist my hair as much as i did when i was doing the rice water challenge um i think i probably only retwisted it twice this time in the month so i think that's the reason why it was kind of getting matted and tangled when i was unraveling it um but apart from that I, I actually really enjoyed this one i think if you are suffering from dry hair instead of using humectants especially when it's cold um try try using this and and see if you know it helps if it works and you don't have to just use it alone you can dilute it with olive oil or castor oil castor oil is quite thick though but olive oil grapeseed oil um things like that i could just dilute it with that um to make it less pungent in terms of the the stain um but it will still stain so you do have to be careful about that so especially when you want to re-wet it it depended on when i had applied the oil last so if it was like one or two days ago and i then wet my hair then you know i'll get i'll start seeing the dye on my hair and it will start going onto my spray bottle which is white so this is my the 
my newest addition to my spray bottle collection um yes yeah, so when i was using it i would start getting it all over the all over the white um lid i did definitely enjoy it i would um I'd, i would say try it because it, it it worked and it left my hair soft and amazing um just obviously the only con about it is the staining and the the the, the coloring um of it um but yeah it was great it really was great to use and to try this one out so let me know what oil you use that has helped you with either strengthening softening you know hair growth things like that or do you mix your oils and what is your your mixture that you use let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you tried this and how it works for you and how you tried and um, how you applied it to your routine to see results for yourself and if you actually do see results as well because my results may not necessarily be something that you see on your hair or yours might even be more than mine so it depends on the person it depends on how you use it as well so yeah let me know in the comments down below what how you used it and if it works for you thank you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye loves